I've been using ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini and Copilot for months, but I've been hearing a lot of people talking about Perplexity Pro, so I finally decided to try it out. And honestly, my mind is blown. I thought I was happy with all of them, but honestly, Perplexity Pro does something that the rest of them can't do as well. So today I'm sharing my impressions on Perplexity Pro, what the benefits are, what you can do with this, and whether it's worth the extra $20 versus the free planner. I try lots of different tools all the time. I'm often reluctant to add new tools to the kit because I want to keep it simple, but I kept hearing perplexity pop up in various different areas from friends, colleagues, etc. So I just had to try it out. And turns out I was missing something big. So as I said, coming from ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, Copilot, my first thought was, why do I need to add another tool to my kit? And here's what I discovered. Perplexity wasn't there to replace ChatGPT's creativity or Gemini's links with Google's workspace, but it was solving a completely different problem, and that is real-time analysis and cited sources. Now, I know these other tools can do this, but Perplexity seems to be way better at getting it right. It can search the web live and show me exactly where each of the sources come from. It's like having a research assistant that can look at 50 articles on the web in the same time that it takes me to open just one. So when would I use Perplexity over any of my other tools? I'd still use ChatGPT as my main one, mainly for brainstorming, creative thinking, for some of my custom GPTs and things like that. Claude is probably my go-to to really improve the quality of my writing. I just feel like it's way better at writing content in the voice that I want. And then with Gemini and Copilot, I find they really integrate with the Google and Microsoft products. So that's when they become most beneficial. But Perplexity Pro has now become my default for research and especially for live web analysis. Anytime I need current information, live events, or I need to really trust the source that I cite, I go for Perplexity Pro. So it's not really about replacing these tools, more so understanding where they fit in your workflow. But before we dive into Perplexity Pro, which is the pay plan, let's have a quick look at what the free plan offers. Spoiler alert, it's actually pretty generous. So with the free plan, you get unlimited basic searches, plus three pro searches daily. And pro searches basically pull three times more sources and use multi-step reasoning. Ultimately, you'll get better results with pro searches. You also get three deep research runs per day, that's where AI spends two to four minutes reading dozens of articles to build you a structured report. Basic file uploads work too. You get three attachments daily and five files per workspace. The free plan is basically perfect for testing whether Perplexity fits into your workflow before upgrading to the pro plan. You also get access to things like image generation and also access to voice mode. Okay, so now let me show you the features that people rave about for Perplexity Pro. And the first one is deep research. Coming from ChatGPT, I thought it understood AI research. Then I tried deep research on Perplexity Pro, and honestly, it's a really big improvement on what I've been using before. So what I used to do is I'd ask ChatGPT a question, get the response, and then Google search to make sure the facts were true. Oftentimes you have to check multiple sources and verify information. A lot of these tools have since launched deep research tools, but Perplexity is the next level. So with Perplexity, you can hit the deep research button here on Perplexity Pro, and then what I'm gonna do is, what are the current trends in electric vehicle battery technology and how are they affecting manufacturing costs? So you can see here, it's gonna take three minutes to gather the sources and create a report. It's already pulled in 10 sources within about five seconds. And it's starting to reason through how it's gonna think through this deep research report. So that was actually less than 30 seconds. I was expecting it to be three minutes, but we already have our result. And it's given a very clear main takeaway here going through some of the trends, giving other angles to the report. What is great is you'll notice that they have all the sources here linked for every paragraph. So you can easily click into them and see the source itself. So this did what would have taken me two to three hours in less than a minute. As you saw, it reads dozens of sources and brings it back in a very succinct way for me to analyze. This is definitely one of the best features of Perplexity Pro. So number two is having multiple AI models in one place. As I mentioned at the start, I usually switch between some of these different models to get different results. And it also depends on what my use case is. Maybe I want to use Gemini for one thing and Claude for another. With Perplexity Pro, you can choose models from other companies all in the same space. So you can see here we have Sonar, Claude Sonnet, GPT-5, Gemini, and some other models for reasoning. It automatically opts to choose the best model, but if you prefer a certain one, you can use that. So let's try an example. Start, let's try Claude Sonnet. Now let's try GPT-5, and now let's try Gemini. So you can see with each of the different models, it's kind of approached it quite differently, and even the format of the output is different. 
So really helpful if you want to try using different models all in the same space and depending on what you're trying to do. It's the same conversation, albeit using different AI brains. And it's like having my entire AI toolkit in one place. But we also get the live web feeding into these models. So another benefit. Number three is file analysis that actually works. I've tried uploading files to ChatGPT and Claw before, but Perplexity does a really good job of truly understanding the file. So I'm gonna try it here with what are the key findings in this research paper, which is a research paper about AI, and how do they compare to industry trends mentioned in current news? which is a really helpful tool to complement your file uploads. Not only can you upload a specific file, but then compare it to things that are on the internet. And again, this is taking about 10 seconds for it to pull through all the insights. You can see all the sources up here that it's referenced and it's pulled out some of the insights from the report. And it's pulled a nice little summary there. Not only PDFs, you can also get it to analyze Excels or CSVs and analyze data. The example I'm gonna give here is analyze the sales data and compare performance to industry benchmarks. And I'm gonna upload our sales data file here. And you can see it's already read the attached file and it's looking at trends for 2025 and looking at our data. And again, less than a minute, it's already given us a pretty good result. It's gone through the key metrics we have, units sold by product, and it's looked at some industry benchmarks that we want. So comparing our performance to what benchmarks are, it says that we're below standard target for an electronic sales team. So really helpful information to know. And finally, you have a little assessment. So it gives some recommendations on what we can do. The great thing about Pro is that you get unlimited file uploads. So you can do this as many times as you want. So if you're finding this interesting, please make sure to subscribe to my channel below. I break down AI productivity tips every week. So please come along on the journey. And next up, we have some even more interesting features from Perplexity Pro. So number four is Spaces, and they are like specialized AI assistants. But Spaces are a really helpful way for me to organize my AI work. So you can see here spaces are over in the left rail and you can create a space very easily. So let's call this a market research space. So you can add a description space to assist with market research. You can add instructions here. So you can either add files or just put in text. So I have them prepared here, some instructions. You can look at things like search settings, include web by default. The benefit of having the instructions is that it limits the context. So your space will know exactly what you want to do whenever you have it. So let's try a prompt to provide a market research report on the generative AI video market. And then I've included some other instructions there. And there you go. Very quick summary. You can also just tag your space in any prompt that you want to make. They're basically like custom GPTs or gem like gems, except again, you have that access to the internet that's way better than the other tools. You can basically train these spaces to be AI assistants for different parts of your work. So number five is image generation. Not many people know, but you can actually generate images on Perplexity. And again, it's another perk of Perplexity Pro. So let's try an example. Create a professional infographic showing EV adoption rates by country from 2020 to 2024, minimalist style with corporate color palette. And here you go, we get a really good chart. You can see Norway's leading the charge here on EV adoption. And it gives you a quick summary of what's in the chart. This perk for reports, social media, or presentations, and there's no licensing fee. And again, you can see where the data is being pulled from. So if you want to check the chart data, you can just click on the links. Number six is labs, which is basically AI automation chains. This is where perplexity becomes scarily powerful. Labs chain multiple AI actions into automation workflows. So in order to find labs, you basically come down here. So you can see this little light bulb section here and you can create projects from scratch. So let's try it out. Analyze the sales data CSV, identify the top three performing products, create a comparison chart and draft an executive summary with recommendations for underperforming areas. So let's take the sales sheet we had earlier and let's see what labs produces. This one takes a bit longer as it's forming this whole project. So with labs, we've done one prompt and we've gotten our complete analysis. This labs feature is replacing a full analyst's workflow. Really helpful. You just start from a simple prompt and you get this whole analysis. The seventh feature that's really interesting is Shopping Hub. And if you're anything like me and you're not very good at deciding which product you want to get, this one's for you. Again, with the smooth link to the internet, this is a great way to combine both research and the live connection in order to choose the right product for you. And this can be across multiple products, whatever you're into, it's really helpful. Best noise cancelling headphones under $300 for frequent business travelers, prioritize comfort for eight plus error flights and call quality. 
So this is essentially like having a personal shopper for you. It gives you the overall pick and then you can check out the other options it has. And you can follow up the prompt and say, where can I get the Sony model for cheap shipped to Ireland? And with that, it gives me the cheapest option and it links to where I can buy it. So here you go, finding me the best deal for these headphones. So as I said, this is like having a personal shopper who reads every review online just for you. All right, so here's my honest review after trying out Perplexity for a while. Here's what genuinely impressed me. The research quality is unmatched. I really appreciate that I can check every source and understand exactly where it's pulling the information from. The second point is that the speed is incredible. Compared to other models, Perplexity works so quickly and it's such a benefit. This might seem small initially when you're doing quick searches, but when you get to deep research, which could take hours on some other platforms, it's really helpful when you can do this in less than 10 minutes. The other thing that impressed me is that it has such a good link to the internet. You can get information pretty much from yesterday. A lot of the other AI tools do have a bit of a delay, but I think Perplexity is the most up-to-date platform. And finally, the file analysis and web combination is so, so helpful. This is like the perfect blend of being able to upload what you want to talk about and understand how it compares in real live time to what else is happening in the world. There are some things I think I wish were a bit better. Number one is that the conversations feel quite short and abrupt. Sometimes I like longer exploratory chats when you're trying to brainstorm, but I think I'll probably just index on ChatGPT for that. Similarly, it's not as creative as some of these other tools. So with all these sources, it seems like it's very matter of fact. When I want to do things that are more creative or conversational, I think I'll have to use the other tools. But again, you have to use the tools depending on what you want. The last thing is that it is a bit of a learning curve to understand which model to use and what tools to use at the right time. But once you get the hang of it, it's fine. So here's the reality check. Perplexity Pro probably isn't going to replace any of my other tools. But I definitely do see it now as a place to do my deep research as well as my comparison with files. So essentially it's added another arrow to my bow. Do I think it's worth the extra $20? If you regularly need content from the internet and need to do research quite frequently, then I think potentially the $20 is worth it. I'm conscious it might be a decision between some of the other tools, but this one definitely exceeds when you want live access to the internet. If this isn't a priority for you, I think you can probably just stick to the free version. Regardless, you should definitely start off with the free version and see if it's helpful to your workflow. If you start hitting some of the limits, that's when you should consider spending an extra $20. One good tip from me on getting Perplexity Pro, oftentimes with some of your other premium subscriptions, Perplexity offers people discount codes to get a free month or 12 month access. In fact, I actually got a free year long subscription with my bank. So be sure to check with any other premium subscriptions that you have just in case they have a partnership with Perplexity Pro. If that's the case, you may end up not even have to spend $20 at all and just get it for free. So in conclusion, Perplexity Pro is perfect for people who are content creators who need current accurate information, professionals doing market research or competitive analysis, anyone who needs to verify facts and cite sources, or people working with lots of documents and data. But you should stick with your current AI tools if this sounds like you. You mainly use AI for creative writing or brainstorming, you prefer long conversational interactions, or you rarely need current information or source citations. So if this first time review of Perplexity Pro helped you, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. You can also get my free weekly AI productivity newsletter at www.aiproductivitycoach.com forward slash subscribe. Ultimately, I wanna make you more productive and make your life easier. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.